What's up, y'all? I got a family to feed, so let's get into this tea. We about to get into this blue face. Got to pay up now. Stop. Mango is mad because he can't leave out the room. Um, the club wants their money in full. Let's get it. Your favorite paralegal, a Hey, 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 it is your girl, your favorite paralegal, a.k.a. Cassandra Lynn, and welcome to Legal Doc Talk. Glad you guys are here with me this morning. Uh, today, we are going to touch on Blueface's $13 million judgment that was awarded um, for SG Enterprises. $13 million is crazy doing business as the Euphoric Gentleman Club. If you are unaware of what that particular um, incident was, that is where Mr. <laughs> Jamal Porter and his entourage um, was involved in a uh, criminal act <laughs> at the club against Mr. Uh, Ken Tabius Trailer. I believe that his, that's his name. Uh -huh. um, and that actually caused the euphoric gentleman club to uh shut down uh lose out on business and you know anytime you shut down and lose out on business you're still obligated to pay all of your liabilities so mm. what they ended up doing is filed a civil suit against blueface and they was awarded a 13 million dollar judgment back in october of 2023 so today i stumbled across a a judgment that was entered in the state of California. Uh, the judgment that was awarded was in Nevada, in Nevada because that's where the club uh, took place. That's where they did their business. Um, and so in early January, they said enough is enough. Let's go ahead and go after this man. So they ended up filing an application for the entry of the judgment. And, and you see this here. So let me just blow this up. So on fourth, as you can see, an application for entry of judgment on a sister state judgment was entered. Um, they a sister state pretty much clarified the amount, the exact amount that was due, and so therefore they went ahead and entered that in. Uh, and then sister state relationship or partnerships between governments but require active and ongoing participation by the private sector to sustain the relationship okay and we all know that blue face is in jail but anytime anything is filed in the court of law the other party has to be notified so it does not matter where they are whether right. they're at their house at their job right um or you know in, in jail jail <laughs> they still you still have to do your due diligence and you have to serve them okay you can't just file a lawsuit and not serve anybody it doesn't work that way okay so um Resident they Carter. ended up filing that proof of service on march 6 which means that he was definitely served we all know he was in the county jail so he was served in jail uh on May 23rd, they entered in an abstract of judgment, and that's, and I'll show you guys these documents so you can have a general idea of um, what they are. Uh, but they filed an abstract of judgment, pretty much just saying, "Okay, here is the judgment, and here is um, all of the costs associated with the filing of this application, so on and so forth." Um, they went before the judge to present this and it does say notice of rejection of post judgment. So I'm sure that they had to make some type of corrections to whatever was filed. Um, they ended up sending that out again uh, to Blueface while he was in the county. And then um, on 614, they also, um, now this is more <clears throat> of a mem memorandum and once again, I'm going to show you guys, but it just breaks down the total judgment, the cost after the judgment, the acknowledgement of credit, the declaration, the accrued interest, all. So this pretty much breaks down all the costs that Blueface is responsible for. Now, they. Uh, so I did see a breakdown of it. And I mean, they charged him for everything in the club. Okay everything in the club and a lot of people was like 
basically how can you how can you how can he be charged for everything in the club? The thing is they lost the whole club. But not only that, they charged him for everything that happened that night that went bad, you know, as far as the club goes as well. So, boy. Gave them an opportunity to pay this. I'm talking cups, ice. They gave him the opportunity. (laughs) He did not do this. So what they did was they filed a writ of execution. What did that mean? On July 3rd, 2024. There are several ways that you can collect for from a judgment. Um, over the past month, I have done four. Um, I've done one wit of garnishment uh, where I was able to freeze uh, the defendant's bank account until oh, he pays no. up. So <laughs> we're still fighting with that. Um, and then you have what's called a writ of execution where we... Um, Pretty much what happens when you file this, it is a, how can I say this? It is an order for the sheriff or constable to go to you to collect the money that's owed. And so that's what they did on 7-3-2024. So Hmm. going into it, let's look at the actual documents. Like he in jail, like, yeah, I'm going to just slide you to bread. Like, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and where's this PD? Don't forget, he put everything in Jaden's name. That was a... That boy is smart. He do a lot of stupid shit. But in that area, he did what needed to be done. Because all that money Jaden over there collecting, <laughs> he'll be able to have access when he get out. Okay? Yes. And this is just to kind of give you guys a breakdown. So we know what was awarded was the Jaden been booking shows since he went in. 13 million, right? And some odd change. <laughs> and this is what that 13 million. Hold on. 13 million. Plaintiff's damages and lost revenue in, in the amount of 12 million six hundred thousand. Okay, uh, plaintiff lease damages in amount of $198,000 from October 2022 through September 2023. Plaintiff's damages in the amount of $240,000, which was what happened at night. But this is what I was talking about. They charged me for the utilities, the payroll, sales tax, insurance and to cover the building, what- cleaning, security, internet. <laughs> That's what I meant when I was saying cups and shit. I was just being funny. Oh, no, I'm not. Supplies. <laughs> Repair and maintenance. That 13 they million went crazy. Was- also, I'm not tr- trash. Liquor. Leases. Unrelated legal fees. Of. I'm not going to go over this because I did Bro, it in a previous video. That was crazy. Triple uh, net landlord expenses. Repair and maintenance, yeah, supplies. Okay. Like, so that's crazy. October of 2023, this is what he owed. And remember, they have to, these people have to prove that in court. One, one, one in the chat. They had to prove all of these damages and shit. Because I'm like, okay, they was just throwing anything in there. But no, they have to prove it. That's why they were able to get the judgment. Crazy. This is the application that they filed, the application for entry of judgment. Um... They on said, we're going to get our money. Judgment. I ain't even going to play with you. <laughs> uh, so they had his last known address. And let's see. All right. So from as of the date that they actually filed this application, the $13 million that was initially um, awarded, plus the filing fee, plus the accrued interest in the state of Nevada. Mm. And now this is his total of how much he owes. 14 million. Well, at the time that they filed the application. All right, everybody sees that. $14,386,164.23. Now we are going to, so when you file this, you also have to file the abstract of judgment. And this was the summons that was issued and it actually had the jail address. I did not, uh, I redacted that. So you guys, I mean, 
it kind of is public information and anybody can go on there, but yeah, that's time consuming, but I didn't want to actually put the location of the, um, county jail he was in, but we all know what it is. So this is the abstract of a judgment. Um, as you can see, once again, they're saying, okay, you owe this amount, this $14,386,164 and 23 cents. Yeah, that's 14 million. This judgment was entered in the state of California on January 9th, 2024. <laughs> so this was sent to Blueface May 23, 24. So what was that? Two months ago. So he is aware of this new amount. Once again, they gave him the opportunity to, you know, pay this up. I mean, who want to just give up $13 million? Well, clearly somebody that make $13 million in damages. But I'm just saying. Ah. All right. A couple That's of a lot. weeks pass by. Nothing. He so now jail. we have to break down all of the costs before we move to the next step, which would be the execution. The writ of execution. Um, so here we have the memorandum of costs after judgment, acknowledgement of credit, and declaration of accrued interest. So this man here. <laughs> so these are the post-judgment costs. So on top of that, this is the post-judgment cost. So we have the preparing and issuing of the abstract of judgment, the recording, because anytime you do an abstract of judgment, you have to record it in the county that that defendant resides in. Mm. Then the filing notice of judgment lien on personal property. Mm -hmm. Ooh, I need to, yeah, I'm going to do some more research. I might have a update number two. Um, Damn. And so the total post judgment cost is one hundred and fifty seven dollars. All right. So we have the one hundred and fifty seven dollars. Then on number three, we have. So now the, they about to probably have a lien on his house and all that. His daddy better get the hell up out of there. He, you need to find somewhere else to say right now, sir. <laughs> Blueface better off in jail right now. That's crazy. Uh, let's see. So there, the interest is accruing at a That's legal great. rate of 10% on top of the $14 million odd dollars, right? Then, let's see. Oh, man. So as of today, well, as, I won't say as of today, but as of June 14th, an additional $618,000 $801.37 has been accrued and that has to be added on top of what is owed. What that mean? My gosh. Wait, so wait, what? So from June Let it again. $618,801.37 has been accrued and that has to be added on top of what is 14 owed. million. Oh my god. Oh my gosh. So from June going on to the third, one, they one, said one, enough one, one, is one, enough. The screen. And I'm gonna blow this up so you can see. So as you can see, this is a writ of execution, meaning that the judge, not not the judge, I'm sorry, the sheriff is has to go there and he has to collect this. Well we'll get into the correct amount after all those interests and other post-judgment fees have been added. So this gives the, oh, and it's right here. It is right here. So it says to the sheriff or marshal of the County of Los Angeles, you are directed to enforce the judgment described below with the daily interest and your costs as provided by law. Cause you know, they gotta be paid too. Drown him. I mean, damn. <laughs> <clears throat> to any registered process server, you are authorized to serve this writ only in accordance with the CCP 699. I'm not going to read all that. So this is the original judgment creditor, SG Enterprises, LLC, doing business at Euphoric Gentlemen's Club. And then here, uh, 
I'm going to scratch that out. We have, um, well, it's already on LinkedIn or not LinkedIn. <laughs> Vine links so you already see. That shit done went up to 15,000. I'm bit what? 15 million. Oh my God. Um, so here's the total judgment here. Here is the cost after the judgment. Here's the subtotal. And then let's see. I'm sorry. I have people calling me and I need to put that on. There we go. All right. So total cost of judgment. And then we have the cost after judgment. And then we have the accrued interest as of the date. So from January uh, 4th, from the entry of that judgment till uh, when was this issued? July 3rd. Um, and then the fee for the issuance of the WIT, 40000 um, And then we have a total amount due, which is $15 million, ooh, $5,162.60. And then adding on daily interest in the amount of $1,941.46. So, and this is as of July 3rd. So it is accruing no. interest daily daily at this point so your boy owes about a good 15 million dollars as of right Mango, now please. and this is only this is for the euphoric club remind you guys he also um how can i say this jasmine brooks who was uh another party that was um, at the club, she ended up suing the club. And so the club did a cross motion and ended up suing Blueface. So <laughs> I am still getting uh, information on how much that settlement was. <sighs> but as of right now, your boy owes a good $15 million. And the sheriff <clears throat> is saying, you got to pay this up. So you're going to have to do something to get this because these people want their money. Damn. So guys, tell me what you <laughs> think about this. <laughs> you think Blueface is done? Um, $15 million is a lot to be. That's ridiculous. And debt for, um, especially if you're not doing too good and you're locked up and That's your girl ridiculous. is locked up and all you have left is WAC 100 and Jaden and Alexis. So you do you think any of them is going to pitch in and help pay this $15 million judgment? First of all, all that money <clears throat> that Jaden has is Blueface's money. Okay. He going to have Krishan pay it. I mean, get mad all you want. He going to have Krishan pay it. And when Krishan get out and, you know, the problem is they're going to get out and they're going to need money. Okay. So we would hope that they wouldn't get out and come out on, on their antics, but they, they probably going to have to because they're going to need the money unless he just kind of go crazy on Snapchat. But it's given he don't want to do that. I don't think he wants to, like, make extra money, per se, through his name because they're just going to garnish everything he makes, per se. So I really don't know. I don't know. I don't know at all. Y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section below, what y'all think is going to happen. This was a great video per you. Shout out to uh, my favorite paralegal, okay? Miss Cassandra. Cassandra. Cassandra, that's what it is. All right, love y'all, appreciate y'all. Yeah, yeah.